Hello and welcome. Today we're doing another question from Leet Code 75. This question is called maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. So what is this question? Given a string S and an integer K, we want to return the maximum number of vowel letters in any substring of S with length K. And vowel letters in English are A, E, I, O, and U. So example one, we have the following input string S and K equals three. So we want to find the maximum number of vowels in any substring of length three. We can make a substring over here with all i's, so that's going to be three vowels in our substring of size k. Example two, we have a e i o u. Any substring of size two will be all vowels, so here we output two. And example three, we have leak code and k is three. These are some of the substrings we can make of length three, which have the most number of vowels. They all have two vowels, so it doesn't matter which one we go with. Our output is going to be two. So how are we going to solve this? Say we have the following example input. This is S and K equals three. This is very similar to example one over here. We know we want to make substrings of length three and see how many vowels are in every single substring. We just want to keep track of all the counts of vowels we see and return that max count at the end. So first thing I'm going to do is make a substring of size three. So I'm going to be looping through from I to K. So for I in range K, and this is not going to be inclusive. We go from index zero, one to two. So we get a total length of three, but we don't include index three. I wanna check for every single character I come across if it is a vowel or not and keep count of that. So my current substring right now has zero vowels. The first index I come across is zero. So I wanna see if A is a vowel. Now I see that I have A as a character, but will I be checking every single character I come across to see whether it is A, E, I, O, or U? I could do that, or I could just make a set of all my vowels. So I wrote out a set of vowels over here. It has A, E, I, O, U. Instead of checking every single character to see if it's any of these characters here, I can now just check to see if my character is in this set of vowels. So if S of I in vowels, we know the character we are on is a vowel. And we're going to increase the count of the vowels in our current substring. So current plus equals one. So right now, current is going to get one. A is in vowels. Once we go in this for loop again, we are at index one over here. We're at B. B is not in vowels, so we don't increase the count of current. We go back in our for loop. We are now at index two. And E is in vowels, so we increase the count of current by one. Now we go back in this for loop, but there are no more characters for us to iterate over. Remember, this is not inclusive. So we stop right here and our current substring has a total of two vowels. Now I want to continue making substrings of size three. Right now I have A, B, E right over here. What is my next substring? It's going to be B, E, C. So we still have B, E, but instead we add a C over here and we remove an A to get a new substring of length three. In order to do this, I'm going to be looping through from index K onwards. So from C onwards, and I'm just going to add this character to my current substring. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to do for I in range K to length of S, and I'm going to check what my character at I is. So I is now over here. It's at index K, which is three over here. And I want to see if it's a vowel or not. So if S of I in vowels, I'm just going to add to my current count. So current plus equals one. So right now I basically added this character over here to my substring, which means we range from A to C, but we don't want to include this A anymore, right? We want a length of three. So I'm going to get rid of what I have at index I minus K. And as I do that, I want to make sure it's not a vowel. If it is, I need to reduce the count from current. So if S of I minus K, so I right now is at index three, K is also three, 3 minus 3 is 0, and at index 0, I have A. So if this is in vowels, I'm going to subtract from my current count. So current minus equals 1. Now this is in vowels, so now current goes to 1. Our current substring of BEC has only one vowel. And every time I make the substring, I want to update my max vowel count. So before this, I'm going to initialize my max vowels to be what I have in current. So initially, max vowels started off with two. It had A and E from the substring A, B, E. And once we go in here, we change our substring to be B, E, C. And we're going to update max vowels accordingly. So max vowels every single time is going to get an update between what we have in it already. So max vowels and what our new current count is. So we're comparing between one and two. Two is greater than one. So max vowels stays at two. We go back in this for loop and we are at index four. 
we have this character over here. So we make a check. If s of i in vowels, i is in vowels, so we're going to increase the current count by one. So right now we have two vowels in here. We also want to get rid of a character, so s of i minus k. We go to index one over here, which is character b, and b is not in vowels, so we don't need to subtract from current. All we do is update max vowels now, it stays two, and we go back in our for loop for our next i. Now we come across another vowel, s of i is in vowels, so we increase that current count. It's going to be three. And we're getting rid of this character e over here. So since this was in vowels, we're going to subtract from current to be two, which means our current string cii has two vowels. We don't update max vowels and we go back in this loop. Now we are at another vowel. So again, we are going to increase that current count by one. And the character that we are getting rid of is index i minus k. i right now is at index six. k is three. So what do we have at index three? That is c. This is not in vowels, so we don't subtract from current. And we just update our max vowels. This is now going to be three. We go back in our loop. We see the new character we're adding is not in vowels. We don't update this. But the character we are removing is in vowels over here, i. We decrease the count of current. We have substring i, i, d right now. No need to update max vowels. Go back in our loop for one last iteration. We are now at character f. It's not in vowels. We don't update current. And we do subtract since we are getting rid of this i over here. So we are at one because our current substring is idf, which has only one vowel. And all we have to do in the end is return our max vowels. So we're going to return max vowels. Now let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity for this solution. For time, we do iterate through every single character in our input s. So this is going to be O of n if there are n elements in s. And for space, the only thing we're actually storing is vowels, but they're only going to be five vowels. It has no dependency on how big our input gets. This is a constant length every single time. It has five always. So this is going to be O of one for space. It's going to be constant space. So we just went ahead and solved this question. If you have any questions with this whatsoever, though, of course, let me know what's down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.